Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, let's take a look at the gold market. Well, on Friday, actually guys, uh, gold has brought the surprise to us since uh, our prediction was uh, sufficient to confirm the double ripple by Patreon. And that makes overall situation very tricky and sophisticated. Because just on Friday in the morning we have discussed that if market would form on intra the charts the butterfly and simultaneously will would hit the 1038 target. So if uh, intraday butterfly will become uh, the part of the hand shoulder, oh sorry, of the double repo pattern, that was just perfect. In this case, we would say, guys, this is the bullish pattern, and we could try, we, we could just enter long and wait when the market will hit the target. But the trick of the situation stands in the moment that market has confirmed the double repo buy, but it hasn't completed the 1038 target. It means that the chances on the failure of the double report still very significant. But that this is just a half of the problem. The second half of the problem is that double repo failure is not just the consolation, it's not just the uh, failure of the direct patient, not, not just the destruction uh, of the direct patient, but the double repo failure is another directional patient. And if you will got will have the double repo failure after direct pattern, you will have to reverse your position. That is, makes overall situation very difficult for trading. But at the same time, uh, just few traders will be able able to recognize uh, this um, combination of the double repo and double repo failure and trade it correctly. That's why I, if you will do everything according to our plan, if you will follow it cl as close as possible, you will be able to make money on this trade. So uh, how will be better to uh, trade this setup? Currently, guys, I do not want to say talk about those of you who um, stands mostly on the conservative approach, uh, who wait for a clear pattern and try to avoid some... Uh, some sophisticated situ situations as we have right now. So this is mostly analysis for those who would like to take part, who would like to trade this and uh, is ready for taking this uh, risk for trading that uh, we, will, we will get here. This probably will be a really significant risk, but uh, at the same time it's very um, uh, very interesting setup and it will be a really great experience if you will do everything correct. Uh, if you have the conservative view, in this case, guys, uh, you will probably should wait for the fail failure of the double repo and drop below the 1050 area for taking the short position. And if you would like to take the long position, in this case, you probably should wait for when the market will really start this upper reduction to the target. The target of the double repo pattern, so my minor uh, target will be, will stand at 11. 10 area, so right at the 5% resistance of the thrust of the double ripple. This is the minimum target. Now what we have, thrust down, close above the 3x3, and take a look with this close market has not reached the 3.8 fiber resistance. It's very, this is very important. Uh, this, this makes a double ripple perfect. It means that all steam stands in the pot, so, so all short positions that have been formed still stands here holds on the market. That's why it's important when the double repo starts to work, the stops will start to trigger, the positions will start to close, and market will get the additional power fuel to continue move high. That's why it is important that market hasn't reached the FIB level. Now close below the 3 by 3 and close above. Again, here guys we have the close above the 3 by 3 moving average. And that is the confirmation bar of the double repo pressure. <coughs> now 
what we should to do. Since we have the directional pattern, although guys, actually, uh, my experience tells that in the gold market, the double repo patterns mostly fail rather than work properly. Still, we have the directional pattern, and that's why we have the bullish context by the Judd Napoli pattern. This is the directional pattern, we have the bullish trend. Also, guys, take a look here, with the second bottom of the double repo, we have the bullish grabber. So, retracement down, market has formed the bullish grabber that suggests the taking out of the stops. That uh, pattern increases the, makes more power to the double repo pattern that's really increased chance that will work. So, theoretically, we should search for the taking, a uh, possibility for taking the long position. For that purpose, we need to use the uh, hourly chart, guys. Here, guys, on the hourly chart, recent thrust up was greater than the previous sell-off. And this is some sort of the reversal swing. That is also bullish sign. We have the thrusting action here. Probably, guys, retracement will be, should be minor. So, we, because, uh, if market will drop below 1056 area, this is simultaneously will be invalidation point for the double repo pressure. If market will drop lower, in this case, don't be long. Do not take long position. Normally, market should stop somewhere at the 1060 or maybe uh, 1059. It's 50% support and it's also lows here. So somewhere in this area, market should finish this retracement down. But simultaneously, guys, I'm not sure that this retracement will happen because take a look at the 15 minute chart. You'll see that market is forming here the pennant triangle pressure. That's why our retracement could be just minor or your retracement maybe won't be at all. So market could just continue move higher. Maybe it will test the weekly pivot point and will turn to the upside. So the minor retracement also will happen. But for us here is major point right here. So if market will drop below 1056, then don't take the long position. This major condition that you should watch for on Monday. Any other retracement is acceptable, so this market will stop here or here, this will be just great. So let's assume that we have taken the long position. Uh, what we will, will, will do next? After that, when we will take the long position, our major problem will become the possible appearing of the double repo failure. And uh, if market will start move up and continue move here to the to the 11 even and higher, that's okay. I will not I will not, I will not talk on the on the successful finish of this double repo patient. The target is 11.10. But what will happen if on the next session? Market will turn down and close below the 10.56. If this will happen. So we'll have, if we will have here the black candle, not even on the, not necessarily this will happen on Monday. It, this could happen on Tuesday or, or any session after that. Uh, if this will happen, that will be the confirmation of the double repo failure pattern. In this case, we will need to reverse our position in opposite direction. Uh, and take the short. In this case, the market, we should expect the move down. Maybe this will stop at the 10.38 hour target that we have specified on the weekly chart. But it's possible that market really will continue to move lower even to the 10, to 1,000 even target. The, the, major, the major moment that we uh, will have to do is to reverse our position. That's why, guys, since the chances on appearing of the double repo, passion, uh, double repo failure is significant, we call you to take... Uh, reduced volume in this trade of your position. If you usually trade for the one one lot, then probably you could uh, decrease the trading position to the half of the lot. And if double repo failure will be formed, you could reverse uh, position with the normal volume. So if you will trade to the upside double repo with the half of the lot, in the, uh, to the downward, if your market will form double repo failure, you could uh, again take the position with the whole lot. So, uh, that's the simple logic. So as you can see, guys, this um, trading of this setup demands for us the really significant discipline and diligence, diligency. And uh, the major major condition here is to be very, very sensitive to what happens on the market because not every trader could freely, in, in a blink of an eye, to change the to change the mind and to reverse the position. This is uh, psychologically not really simple to do. That's why you should be ready for that in advance. Because here we already discussed the trading plan. We tell you that the double repo failure could appear. 
and you should should be ready in advance to do this very fast to change the direction of your position uh, and just reverse the position so that's why let's keep watching but if you will do everything just perfect if you, if you will be disciplined uh, this will be guys really great great experience for you how to trade these setups it's because the shifting of the double repo to the double repo fail is very commonly um, happened thing on the market so it's very very often you you, you could see this setup in, in the future and if you will deal with them uh, once this will be more simple uh, to do this again on the next time and on other markets that's why I think that we should pay attention to this setup it's really interesting and we'll try to lead you uh, with this setup with our daily updates the one thing that really could happen if market just will reverse very fast and uh, this will happen between our updates well guys in this case you probably should uh, act by yourself so um, just trying to follow the plan that we have just described if this will not happen and we will be able to track you to, to lead you with our daily updates then we will pass through this we'll move through this setup step by step uh, together so let's see how it will turn